Hello, I'm Seth Ferguson for Milton Today TV News. Since the announcement of Osama bin Laden's demise, reaction to his death is mixed in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Most experts agree that Al-Qaeda will be weakened, but not stopped. Ten years after one of the worst attacks on U.S. soil, the mastermind behind the 9-11 tragedy has been killed. Osama bin Laden is dead after a U.S.-led team of special forces raided his compound outside Islamabad in Pakistan early Monday morning. World leaders welcomed the news but warned to remain vigilant. I call on the Taliban to learn from this killing in Abbottabad of Pakistan yesterday. The Taliban should refrain from fighting. They should refrain from killing their brothers and killing Afghanistan's sons and destroying Afghanistan. This news will be welcomed right across our country. Of course, it does not mark the end of the threat we face from extremist terror. Indeed, we'll have to be particularly vigilant in the weeks ahead. But it is, I believe, a massive step forward. Can I say too uh, about the death of Osama bin Laden that whilst Al-Qaeda has been hurt today, Al-Qaeda is not finished. Our war against terrorism must continue. We continue to be engaged in Afghanistan so that that country does not again become a haven for terrorists. As the details of his capture and death come to light, a sigh of relief, if only for the interim. Reaction to the news of bin Laden's death poured in from leaders around the world. Prime Minister Stephen Harper, Afghanistan President Hamid Karzai and British Prime Minister David Cameron were among the first to comment on the Al-Qaeda leader's death. Coming up, the election results and the fallout from Monday's historic federal election. Walking is the best exercise for your feet. However, when you experience discomfort, look no further than Milton Orthotic and Wellness Center for quality custom orthotics. Milton Orthotics and Wellness Center carry an attractive line of orthotic footwear for the whole family. Comfortable shoes, safety footwear, as well as compression garments and technical socks. Their qualified professional staff are always available to help you with your footwear needs. Milton Orthotic and Wellness Center, keeping one step ahead when it comes to foot health care for your family. Milton Orthotic and Wellness Center, 1009 Maple Avenue, Unit 3, across from the Home Depot, 864-0555. I'm Seth Ferguson. I'm Tom Ferguson. We're your local real estate experts. What makes me a local expert? Well, I'm a lifelong Milton resident. I've seen the town grow and prosper. I've been in the schools, the rinks and parks. I'm a Miltonian and I have the local knowledge that only comes with living here. And that's important when you're buying or selling a home. It's the details that count. What we do is about service. A lot of my job is about things you don't see. The research and negotiations. Some people think you can do it all on a computer. A computer can't understand your needs like an expert can. Break down market trends, feel what's important to you, to stand in your shoes. And that's why we're here to help. We build futures and work with you every step of the way to get you home. To your new home, call the local experts. Seth Ferguson, Tom Ferguson, Century 21. Call Century 21 Future, your local experts, 905-875-2100. Oceana Whispers offers artfully inspired floral designs. Fresh flowers for birthdays, babies, first dates to anniversaries, special occasions, weddings, funerals, or just a special treat for yourself. Nothing says it like fresh flowers. Nothing whispers natural beauty like fresh flowers from Oceana Whispers. Drop by or call today. Oceana Whispers, 13 Charles Street, 878-6652.
get relaxing at a natural urban oasis. Allegra Organic Spa and Boutique is proud to offer Milton a unique, eco-friendly spa experience using organic and natural alternatives to conventional beauty care. Escape to their elegant, earthy surroundings and immerse yourself within a vast selection of soothing delights, personal care offerings, and the latest in fashion wear accessory trends in their boutique. Experience their healthy, organic product line that is not only good for you, but also our environment. Treat yourself or someone special to a treatment using decadent, earthy, organic delights. Call Allegra Organic Spa Boutique today, 693-0057. 181 Main Street East. Prime Minister Stephen Harper has found the third time is the charm. After two consecutive minority governments, Harper has been awarded a majority government. The party won 166 seats, with the NDP becoming the official opposition with 104 seats. The Liberals came in third with only 33 seats, while the Bloc Québécois came in fourth with only a startling four seats. A definite shift in Canadian politics. Thank you very much. Conservatives cheer Canadian Prime Minister Stephen Harper's election victory. The party won 54% of parliamentary seats Monday, turning their minority government into a majority. Harper will now be able to push promised tax cuts through the legislature. Because Canadians chose hope, we can now begin to come together again, as we must as Canadians, as fellow citizens, friends and neighbours. For our part, we are intensely aware that we are and we must be the government of all Canadians, including those who did not vote for us. The election marked Canada's fourth in seven years. Conservatives, who have run two successive minority governments, outperformed expectations by taking 40% of the vote. Barely a day after losing his own seat and his party coming third nationally, Michael Ignatieff announced his resignation as party leader. At a Tuesday press conference, he said he hopes to return to teaching. The results were a historic low for the Liberals. Speaking in Toronto, Liberal leader Michael Ignatieff apologized for the party's worst ever showing. Democracy teaches hard lessons. And we have to learn them all. We have to be big enough, open-hearted enough, courageous enough to read the lessons that the Canadian people have taught our party tonight. Leaders have to be big enough also to accept their historic responsibility for a historic defeat. And I do so. The Liberals came in third, losing their position as Canada's main opposition party to the left of centre New Democrats. The Bloc Québécois lost big in Quebec in Monday's election. The Quebec Separatist Party was reduced to four seats after the NDP won 59 in the province. Bloc Québécois leader Gilles Duceppe himself was a victim of increased NDP popularity, losing to the NDP candidate in his riding by 1,000 votes. Duceppe then resigned as party leader. It was an exciting night for the Green Party. Supporters elected their first MP to Parliament in Monday night's federal election. Leader Elizabeth May will take her seat in the House of Commons when Parliament resumes. Joining Stephen Harper's majority government is Halton's Lisa Raitt. Milton Today TV was the first to speak with Lisa following her victory at her party at Ned Devine's. We're here at Ned Devines in Milton at Derry Road and Ontario Street, and we were the first media installation to talk to Lisa Raitt following her landslide victory here in Halton. Watch online at miltontodaytv.com for highlights of our election coverage, as well as the first words spoken by Lisa following her victory. Hi. Oh, how are you doing? How are you doing? Yes. Nice to see you. 
Yeah. Lisa, th uh, congratulations, first of all. It looks Thank like a you. landslide victory for you. Yeah. Uh, surely a hey, testament. Are you doing? Come, uh, oh, well. come on in. Come on in. Keep going. Okay. Uh, who, who's this? This is my um, son, JC. JC. This is my son, Hi. Billy, who just woke up. Hi, Hi Billy. Hi. I like, I like the sunglasses. <laughs> Nobody can tell you're sleeping. <laughs> so th th this, this victory is truly a testament to the hard work, uh, not only yeah. you did knocking on doors, but the volunteers yes. working on your campaign and, and Cam as yeah, well. Yeah, great blue wave. Love the blue wave. I'm so happy. Uh, it, it's a heck of a night. It's historic. And we're just so happy to be part of Stephen Harper's team. Yeah, we're and, awesome. And, and, and nas nationally, the results look very good. Uh, yep. and, uh, at a majority. I, absolutely. And I'm really thrilled. Okay. Thanks a lot, Lisa. Thanks. Bye, okay. Seth. Thanks. NDP candidate Pat Haru did not place first, but was all smiles Monday night after an NDP surge nationwide. She spoke to us after appearing at the Conservative Victory Party. I'm joined now by Pat Haru, who was the candidate for the NDP. Now, now Pat, even though you did not win, you must be very excited with the results. Uh, you, you brought in Halton as well as Nationwide. Thank you. Yes, I am very excited. This is the most that we have ever gotten this riding, and people got out and they voted and supported me, and I'm so thankful for everyone who did. I, I'm sure you had a fantastic team of volunteers working with you to help you get those numbers. Is there anybody you'd like to thank? Yes, definitely. My husband and my family and Mike Drubin, who did all of the computer stuff. Uh, we're a small group, but they worked hard. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, uh, Nationwide, this is the first time that the NDP will be sitting in the official opposition uh, seat, uh, with Jack Layton yes. being the yes. official leader of, yes. of the opposition. Uh, how do you feel about that? Excited. It's going to be a new era, and uh, even though uh, the majority government is there with the amount of votes, votes that Jack Layton got, um, I just feel that we will be listened to. I have a funny feeling that Canadian politics won't look the same for a long, long time. Yeah, and, and everybody's going to take notice now that the little guy wants to say as well as the big guys. Yeah. Pat, thank you so much for, uh, for these uh, few minutes of your time. Oh, you're more than welcome, and I appreciate everything on us. I would like to shake your hand. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. And thank the TV studio, because you did a marvelous job of getting the information out, for, uh, especially for a party that doesn't have a lot of money. We were on an equal basis, and I really appreciate it. A anytime. And for those of you who are interested, you can find highlights of the debate, as well as our live election coverage and interviews here at Ned Devines online at MiltonTodayTV.com. Expert panel guest on Milton Today TV's live election coverage, Ted Chudley, was also at Ned Devine's following Monday's landslide victory in Halton. I'm here with Ted Chudley outside of Ned Devine's. And right now you can hear the applause and the screams as Lisa Rates fans welcome her into the building. Uh, Ted, uh, you were joined us live online at MiltonTodayTV.com following the election. Did you see such a landslide victory uh, for Lisa? Well, we were talking about it all night, and uh, we were talking about maybe maybe a, a majority, but uh, probably just short is what we were talking about. Mm -hmm. Now, it's interesting that the percentage turnout on the vote, uh, the, the, the last polls that we were seeing show the Conservatives at 39%. Now, their actual turnout uh, across Canada was 40%. It's been there for quite some time now. It's not going to move much. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's 1% gain which uh, resulted in uh, you know, 20, 25 seats. Uh, people who think that one vote doesn't matter, uh, it sure does, and it matters a lot all across Canada. That's one percentage point and, uh, of, of, uh, of, of, for the Conservatives, and it made it just a huge difference. And so a majority government, I, uh, I think it's, uh, it's not just it's a Conservative government, I think that it's, uh, it's time that Ontario had a majority, or Canada had a majority government, and I think that'll be good for the country. And the Conservatives got that majority in good style. Now, uh, Ted, you do have a election of your own uh, coming up later on this year. Uh, so no doubt we will be seeing more of you on Milton Today TV as that unfolds. Well, we don't want to make any predictions on the provincial election, but i got to tell you, victory nights are a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe uh, you will book Ned Devines for uh, your, your party. Oh. Not, not for a long time, but <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Okay, uh, Ted, thanks so much for, uh, for uh, stopping by to give us a couple words. And again, we are outside of Ned Devine's at Lisa Rates Victory Party. From the Milton Today TV News Desk, I'm Seth Ferguson. Thanks for watching.